During the pandemic, I put together a lot of puzzles. A lot. I have to say, it was pretty satisfying to see how each piece came together to create a final big picture. When creating a network, you can think of the devices as pieces that need to be put in place. Each piece of hardware needs certain configurations in order to perform correctly, as well as work together. With all these moving parts, simple mistakes can cause the network to fail. If one piece is set up incorrectly or there's a mismatch in settings, you can't complete the puzzle, the network. If there is a way to make the process easier, why not go for it? The smart port feature available on Cisco business switches can be just what you need to simplify deployment, save time, and prevent user error. It can be a simple way to save common configurations. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain the smart port feature available on Cisco Business Series switches. Next. How does it work? Well, the smart port feature applies a pre-configured set of commands to switch ports based on the type of device that is connected to that port. The smart port feature lets the switch apply these common configurations to interfaces automatically when it detects the device. To see these options, change the display mode to Advanced. On the navigation pane, click on Smart Port, then Properties. Assuming you use at least firmware version 3.1, the Smart Port feature is disabled by default. If you choose to enable it, this may affect manual VLAN configurations. Enable by Auto Voice VLAN enables the Auto Smart Port only if the Voice VLAN is on. From the smart port type settings, you can change the macro parameters for a specific smart port type. You can also see the commands that will be applied for this smart port type from the view macro source, the macro, and the respective anti-macro. Binding an invalid macro or setting an invalid default parameter value causes all ports of this smart port type to become unknown. From interface settings, you can reapply smart port macros for different groups of interfaces, or you can statically assign a specific smart port type to an interface with specific values for the macro parameters. In a situation where you don't know what device will be connected to this interface, you can leave it on auto smart port. This persistent status will cause this smart port type to be bound to the interface, even if it goes down or the device is rebooted. That's it. An easy piece of the puzzle that can lead you to the big picture, a complete, configured, working network. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.